Congested roads can lead to dangerous conditions, and while many think of our waterways as wide open spaces, they can get extremely busy as well. With Memorial Day and summer break in view, West Tuesday Dave McDaniel looks at the best way to stay safe while having an enjoyable day on the water. We hopped on board with State Fish and Wildlife as they patrolled the intracoastal waterway near Ponce Inlet. As temperatures rise, business on the waterways picks up, which is why safety matters more and more. Wearing a life jacket at all times is highly encouraged, um, and knowing where your safety equipment is in the event of an emergency can drastically cut down, you know, catastrophic events. The National Safe Boating Council is teaming with state officials to promote National Safe Boating Week. I was in a boating accident um, when I was in college and a life jacket truly saved my life. So without this, I wouldn't be here today. They're pitching the phrase, wear it for them. I wear a life jacket for my little girl, for my wife, for my dad. Your decisions on the water don't just impact you, they impact other people. 59 people died last year in boating incidents statewide, many of those drownings, where life jackets would have made a difference. Just like a pilot will file a flight plan, you are encouraged to file a float plan. Tell someone where you're going and when you intend to be back, just in case. Simply just giving somebody where you're going, what time you anticipate coming back, then if there was an accident, we could get to you a lot sooner. And make sure the person at the controls isn't drinking, keeping in mind that alcohol makes you dehydrated on very hot days. And filling your cooler full of water and sport drinks is a lot better than filling it full of alcohol because we will be out here patrolling like, for people that are uh, boating under the influence. Get home safely. In Volusia County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.